how does mushing with a large team of 10 to 12 sled dogs compare to running with just two? Well, in today's episode, I'm going to talk about that. Well, we just had a really long, very wet, very warm summer. And it's been a warm fall so far too. We are impatiently waiting for our first snow. Um, but until that snow comes, I thought I would do a video and talk about the differences between mushing with a large team of sled dogs compared to a team of two, like I'm doing now. So I'm heading out to the kennel. Bandit and Shiva are out here getting some fresh air. And I'll talk about the differences between mushing with a large team and a small team. So as I join Bandit and Shiva here in the dog pen, I think the first thing we'll talk about is housing. So anyway, obviously one of the big differences between sledding with a small team and a large team has to do with housing. Um, it takes a lot more space and resources to house 12 large dogs than it does to house two medium-sized dogs as I have now. But I'm kind of lucky because we happen to still have the pens that we used for our Malamutes. So what we have here is this pen where Bandit and Shiva are right now. This is the pen that we take them out and they spend playtime during the day out in. Um, next to us here is I have another pen that's about three times this size and then another one that's the same size as this attached to the other side over there. So these are the pens that used to house my Alaskan Malamutes. So I had 10, 12, you know, 90 pound dogs out here. So there's plenty of space for the Malamutes to run and play and socialize during the day when we weren't taking them out running. Um, but this is where the Malamutes stayed pretty much 24 hours a day. Uh, 24 hours. They didn't come inside, they never wanted to come inside, their entire lives. Bandit and Shiva live much more like traditional pets, where they're out here, this is kind of their play space, but they spend a lot of time indoors with us as well, watching TV, and they sleep with us as well. So one big difference there is just, when you have a small team, they can live with you more as traditional pets, whereas if you have a large team, it's different, you know, they're, they're more working, uh, working animals. You still have a wonderful relationship with them, but housing with them and living with them is very different than it is when you just have a team of two. So after housing, the next big difference has to do with transport. When I had the large team and we would um, take them from the pens to head off to the trail to go mushing, I had a trailer. So we actually had a trailer with several boxes on it We'd have to hook the trailer up to our truck or to the vehicle, load the dogs in, take them out, do the run, do the same thing back, take the trailer off. With the two, with the small team, with just two Huskies, I'm able to put them in the back of our Subaru Outback, and we all travel in the same vehicle. It's really very easy. The next difference has to do with the trails you can go on. When I had the large team, I was always looking for trails that had the space really to kind of accommodate a large team. And I don't really mean so much the numbers of the dogs, but just how long you are. When you're running 12 or 10 dogs, your line out in front of you is easily 25 feet. I've never really measured, but the dogs are way out there and you're way back on the sled. So obviously you need trails that can accommodate you know, these kind of gentle turns as you're going around with a large team. With running the two dogs, the team, the kind of trails I can go on, it really gives me a lot more um, uh, of a selection. I'm able to do like real single track type of stuff with a small team of the two dogs. So basically the kinds of trails I can run with my two dog team are like um, the difference between running on a highway and running on a small country road. So 
So now that we're on the trail, we've talked about the differences in trails between the big teams and the small teams. Now the difference is distance. So obviously, with my large team of Malamutes, we were able to run much greater distances than I'm able to do with my two Huskies. Generally speaking, whenever we brought our Malamutes out, and we ran them, uh, I tried to run each dog three times a week during the mushing season. And every run that we did, we averaged 12 to 16 miles whenever we went out. Sometimes we did longer, sometimes we did a little bit less, but that was always our average. And, uh, but with my, with Bandit and Shiva, when we go out, our average tends to be right around six miles a run. And again, Bandit and Shiva, in the, once the season's fully running and it's cool enough, I do get them out about three or four times a week, but their, their daily run average is much less. Um, obviously, again, I outweigh them significantly, and the fact that they can do that with me is still amazing, but they can't do the miles that a large team can do. Another difference between a large team and a small team has to do with the intimacy of the experience that you have as a musher. When I had the large team, um, there was very, very few times that I actually ran them alone. I either had paying guests, clients that were out with me, so sometimes I may have one, two, or sometimes even three other people with me riding on the sled with the team pulling. Or sometimes when we were just off, when we weren't doing a, a, a commercial or a, a, a job-related uh, mushing run, it would be my wife and I would be out there together. We'd be running side by side on the runners. There was very few times when we had the large team that I actually ran them alone. I can only think of maybe three times that I ran the large team alone um, in the 10, 11 years that we had them. Um, but with Band and Shiva, I'm alone all the time. Um, with the exception of the one video where we made our little chair sled and the dogs and Band and Shiva pulled both Carrie and I on it. Every time that I'm out, whether I'm with my bike, the scooter, or the sled, the dogs are pulling me alone. So it's a much more intimate, personal experience running two dogs than it was running the large team. And then, of course, the next obvious difference has to do with care and feeding. It's a lot more work, or it I'm not going to say work because it's a pleasure, but it takes a lot more time to care for 10 or 12 dogs than it does for two. And when it comes to feeding, there's just no comparison. The Malamutes were twice the size of Bandit and Shiva, so that alone, each dog ate at least twice the amount of food that Bandit and Shiva eat. And then, you know, you multiply that by tenfold. Uh, we were going through, I don't know, probably 50 pounds of dog food a week. And now a 35 pound bag with Bandit and Shiva lasts the better part of a month. So that's a, obviously a huge obvious difference. All right, so is one better than the other? Well, it's like apples and oranges. It's exhilarating having a large team. It's really fun seeing so many dogs running out in front of you and the joy of just being able to kind of travel so far with those dogs is really is, uh, I'm fortunate that that was such a part of my experience for so long and maybe again someday. Um, but running with the two dogs, it's so simple. Logistically, put them in the car, take them out, go for a bike run or, um, or go for a sledding run and then bring them back and then go inside and watch TV and have these two pets that are with us all the time. There's a lot to be said for that. You do not have to have a huge team in order to enjoy dog sledding and mushing and dry land mushing and all the other things. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, if you did, please be sure to subscribe, like, send a comment. What kind of videos would you like to see us make next? And thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you later on the trail.